Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So guys, if you're old yet, thanks, and if you're new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing, go to your file on the menu select new or you press control control plus n and here we are going to use four by four inches and leave your resolution at 300 then you come over here to great so this is our working background now so the first thing i'm going to copy the color code for this tutorial then control plus c to copy then go to your fit color select the solid color then control plus v to paste now we are going to import the image we are going to use over here so we are going to import this one and scale it out this way then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur and make use of 8.4 percent then you click ok to apply now apply your layer mask select your gradient to and um, blend the top here this way okay so having done this one the next then we are going to import this image here then you drag it up then i'm positioning it over there then you click ok to apply it then come over here and we are going to import this background here Then you drag it to scale it out then we are going to apply the same thing go to your filter blur gaussian blur then apply 8.4 percent then you click ok and then uh, apply your layer mask select your gradient to and you blend the top over here click ok so having done this one and the next we are going to do now then we are going to apply our test then over here this is the font we are using in this tutorial so we are going to copy this one Control plus c to copy then select your test to over here then come here and we are going to change the font color from black to white and then click ok now we are going to paste it control plus v to paste then over here we are going to change the font to four pins then select any one of your choices here i'm going to make use of semi bold then reduce the font size all right then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one and drag it down. Then select your test tool from here or you press T on your keyboard to select it. Then we are going to make a copy of this test over here. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to increase the character spacing so then this is okay we're going to leave it this way now then apply all go to select and select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back to select then and deselect this line over there all right so now we are going to drag this one down over here so let's position it around here and the next one then go back to your resource file and we are going to import this one so this one here if you want to know how to do this then watch this video at the left corner at the top here so and you will understand how to grade this Then now I'm going to copy this color code over here, Ctrl plus C to copy it. 
and we are going to select our rent angle from here and we are going to draw a rent angle this way double click to open the fit column then ctrl plus v to paste Then go to your select on the menu, select all, apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then go back to select and deselect. Now we can use our mouse, I mean add the arrow key then to move it up or you use your mouse to drag it. Then now we are going to draw another rectangle here, yeah, just like this. Remove the fill color and uh, apply stroke color white and uh, increase the size by 2% or 3% to anyone. And I'm going to apply a corner shape by 17%. It's okay. Then something like this. Then go back to your test and make a copy of this one. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. And over here, then we are going to paste it. Ctrl plus V to paste. And the character spacing, we are going to reduce or remove the character spacing by 0%. Then reduce the font size this way is okay and we are going to move it over here then hold your shift key while you rotate it so that it will be perfect okay now we are going to select the right angle and the test all together to hold your shift or your control key while you select it then apply vertical and horizontal alignment so that it will centralize the, the test. Then we are going to select our test document and make a copy of this test over here. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool and we are going to click here and paste it's control plus v to paste increase the size then take it and we are going to position it at the top here then reduce the size something like this then we are going to duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate then you bring it down then select your test tool, Ctrl plus A to select all. Now we are going to make a copy of this one, Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your font here and we are going to make it black so to make it more bold then use your arrow key then to scale it so that it will be aligned together all right something like this then i'm going to reduce the size of this one hold your shift key while you reduce the size this way then click ok now i'm going to also reduce this size from here all right so having done this one then the next i'm going to hold my shift key then select it all and i'm going to group it now go to select select all and we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back and deselect it so having done this one then we proceed the next then is the date so we are going to make a copy of this Ctrl plus C to copy. 
and then we are going to grate a rent angle around here this way and i'm going to select a color like this then grate a shape to it it's okay like this right now then i'm going to import this one and reduce the size then place it at the center of it and i'm going to use ctrl plus i to invite to invert the color to white then you can also increase the size a little So okay like this all right now then select your test tool and we are going to paste the test we copy earlier then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to black and we are going to change the font over here to oswald First word, make use of the minimum or you can see so then we are going to increase the size of this font so break the font to so having break it and we are going to we are going to change it from medium then maybe we we'll use regular okay then increase the size of the font something like this then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy now duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and you and drag it down then select your test to highlight it Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the size. Okay. Something like this. And then we are going to arrange it properly. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of this one I selected here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Now we are going to select and drag it over here. So this way. It's so alright. Then I'm going to remove this icon. And I will bring this icon to replace it. Then reduce the size. then ctrl plus i to invert it then hold your shift key while you select the rent angle and the icon then apply vertical and the horizontal alignment to centralize it then now we are going to change this text over here the ctrl plus c to copy now select your text tool and select this one highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to break this one then highlight this one ctrl plus a to highlight and then make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste Now we are going to reduce the size to align it with the test. Something like this. It's okay. All right. So having done this one to so the next, we are going back to our resource.
file then I'm going to I'm going to pick the brush I'm going to use over there so I'm going to import this brush over here then I'll position it and I will scale it this way all right so now i'm going to select the time and the date so from here hold your shift key then and select this one then we are going to increase it this way something like this is okay then use your arrow key then to bring it down like this all right I'm going to reduce this one, then go back to the first one and reduce the size. Okay, so then I'm going back to this position. Then I'm going to select this one. Then hold your shift P while you select this one. And I'm going to use the arrow key then to move it forward. So you can as well use your mouse then to move it. So something like this. Now the church logo, then you can import the church logo. So here is our church logo. So the last, then we are going to make a copy of this and we are going to import our icon for location then now select the test tool then come over here and we are going to paste it ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font to balo then and make use of the minimum or the minimum is okay and now we reduce the size something like this should be okay then hold your shift key while you alight it then we are going to group it then go to select alight all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back to select and deselect it so something like this now we are going to alight the date and the time so now select this one hold your shift key then and group it then go back to select select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then and deselect it then we now have something like this so guys so this is the end of this tutorial if you like this video please kindly subscribe to the channel then like and share it so thank you so much and if you need any of my flyer please you can go to my fiverr account the link is in the description then i'll make any order of your design thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it